Greetings, everyone. So, on today's episode, we're going to ask the question, where did the James Bond theme actually come from? And how was it created? And we're going to start looking into that right now. I think it would be very, very fair to say that without all of like film history, there are some like, if you will, five iconic pieces of music that you might not even know the property, you might not have ever seen the film it's based on, but I guarantee you, you've probably heard that music. And I think definitely in the top five is the James Bond theme. This is without a doubt one of my favorite pieces of music of all time. Well, naturally, of course, I'm a Bond fan. What else would definitely be on there? But I've always loved the James Bond theme, and I've loved all the different variations. People have done it throughout time. I've always loved new versions like Bond 77. I'm a massive fan of Moby's one for Tomorrow Never Dies, and going forward, that was really utterly fantastic. And I loved recently Hans Zimmer's new take on this as well. Absolutely fantastic. But I think one of the questions and one of the things that gets forgotten actually about is people don't really know the history about where this song actually come from, where it originated and how it did originate. And I thought that would be an incredibly interesting video for today. So that's what we're going to discuss. But before we get into this anymore, can I ask already if you haven't to give us a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It's always very much helpful. And we're going to start right off with the composer himself, not John Barry, but Monty Norman. So Monty Norman was a British film score composer and singer and contributed to many West End musicals from the 1950s and 1960s. But of all things he is the most famous for, it is for creating that James Bond theme. So where did he get his inspiration from? With that, we know that Monty Norman created the James Bond theme, but where does John Barry come into this? Because a lot of people feel that John Barry himself created the James Bond theme. John Barry would later go on to compose 11 Bond films, arrange the Bond theme, but wasn't credited for so long, except for a credit of his orchestra playing the final piece. It was occasionally suggested that Barry, not Norman, compose the James Bond theme. This argument had been a subject of two court cases. The most recent was in 2001, which found in favour of Norman. So that answers the question very much that Monty Norman wrote the James Bond film. He created, he conceived it, but it was John Barry that gave it that life, that brass, that bombasticness. So for me, myself, when I look at all this information, I do think it is a combination of both of them. I fully accept that it is Monty Norman who came up with the Bond theme, wrote it. He's the one who gave us the da 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 but it was John Barry who really gave it life and made it that big standout song that we all know and love today. So my next question about this, which I think we need to look into is, where did Monty Norman get his inspiration from from this song? And I have to say, this part of the story I find so intriguing. However, it's widely acknowledged that the theme's distinctive guitar riff bears some resemblance to an earlier composition. One piece that is often mentioned as a possible influence of the 1960s song is Good Sign, Bad Sign, a musical number from a musical that never made it to the theatre called A House of Mr. Biswas, which Will Monty Norman was the composer for. The guitar riff in Good Sign, Bad Sign has similarities to the James Bond theme, and some believe that Norman may have drawn inspiration from his own work while creating the Bond theme. So it was from this song Good Sign, Bad Sign that we got the James Bond theme, but how close actually is it to the Bond theme? Well, just so happens, I have my MP3 player here. I have some earphones, and I thought it'd be great now if we all listened together to a bit of Good Side, Bad Side by Monty Norman. I would like to say at this point, everyone, that I bought this song off iTunes, which you can buy it off iTunes, listen to it on Spotify, and all other you know places you can get music from and purchase it legally. You can get this song. This is where I got it from, and I'm going to play it on this video now for the intent of review and talk consideration so without that here we go into let's actually listen together to good sign bad sign well we certainly got the india bit yeah the bond theme is there very much everybody worry about my sneeze do you know what this is it's sort of like a um an indian version of the bond theme 
So yeah, as I said in um, just while we're listening to that, I was really enjoying that. You can definitely hear the origin of the Bond song in that without a shadow of a doubt. But you know, I, I was trying to think of a way maybe we could end on and just think about this and I, I just couldn't help but while I was listening to there, just thinking about this, just hear me out everyone. Bond 13, Octopussy. Bond travels to India. Wouldn't it have been actually a great in-house joke? And heck, also, by the way, Eon, if you do go to India again in the future for another Bond film, do this. Why not have someone singing good sign, bad sign in the background for um, the next Bond film? Or it would have been great if Octopussy, instead of having um, the snake charmer going do 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 singing I was born with this ungodly sneeze. I, I think that would actually have been really, really fun and quite exciting. Well, everyone, that is the end of this episode and that is the answer to who wrote the James Bond theme and where did it come from? I found it really interesting and I very much loved listening to Good Sign, Bad Sign with you all. I hope you all do as well. Just have a look for it and try and listen to it yourself. Add it maybe to your playlist and see where one of the greatest pieces of music's origins came from. A musical that never made it to the theatre. Everyone, my name's Henry Stevens, and I'm the Bond Geek. Goodbye.